Hey YouTube, it's me Kara and I am back with another video. Today is a story time. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a video. And today is um story time about when I almost hit a deer going to my old job in the middle of a highway. So anyway, I worked nights at the time and it was like, I would say a 40 minute drive from where I live to my job, but I really loved it. So it was like worth it. But anyway, yeah, so I was going to work. It was a rainy night. Well, it just had like stopped raining, but you know, like the the roads sore what? This was winter time. Yeah, it was winter time, and I was going on the highway, and everything was good. You know, just driving on the highway, and um, there was like four lanes. Yeah, like four lanes and I was like in one of the middle lanes trying to go to my exit and while I was trying to go towards my exit this deer just jumps out in the middle of the highway I'm like like freaked out and um it was just standing there it wasn't even like going anywhere and um there was cars coming towards me and I think two tractor trailers and my car went spinning around and it hit my car hit the guardrail yeah the gu yeah the guardrail and yeah, like right below the exit sign. Oh, this is crazy. And I was just panicking, panicking. Like, it, you know, I started crying. And I don't, I'm not sure if my head hit my steering wheel, but I know my body was aching so bad. And I think because of the impact and because. The seatbelt, like it was hurting here. My hands hurt because I was trying to control my will. You know, pumping, what did they say? I pump on the um, brakes when it happens or whatever. So I was doing everything I can. And um, thank God it wasn't worse than what it was because, like I said, there was cars going towards me. And there's deer like right out here. And... Truck to the trailers comment, so I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen. And so when I hit the guardrail, it was um, hard impact, but my car wasn't really damaged, so maybe it just felt hard. But um, yeah, um, I had to call off work, but. Before that, I was trying to call uh, 911 or whatever, and I guess someone saw it and called before, and before I did, or a couple people called before I did, before I even had a chance to. Thank you so much for the people who did call. I wish you guys would have, like, stopped. It was kind of just, <laughs> just keep, keeping me, like, hanging there. But, yeah. But it's okay. Thanks for calling anyway, I guess. <laughs> But, um, yeah, people have called me, called on my mom before, and the cops came first, and I, like, I had, they had their flashlights on because someone had told them that they think that I was either knocked out or unconscious or something because my, uh, I had my hands like this on my, um, steering wheel so when I got out 
they were like, are you okay? They're like, go, go sit back in the car. They're like, cause they're, they didn't know if I had like any broken bones or anything. So they were like freaking out. Tell me to get back in the car. Don't move my body. They're like, cause we don't know if you injured anything. Like we have to call the ambulance. And so the inmate, the cop and the um, EMTs kept asking me, they were like, did you, you sure you didn't hit your head? And I was like, my body aches. And I was just like freaking out. And they were like, and I was panicking a lot. And they were like, do you have um, panic attack? And I was like, I have anxiety disorder. They're like, oh no, we need to get her to the hospital. I'm like, yes. Um, and I was kept saying my body aches and I was panicky. So they were worried about my mental state and physical state. Um, and they kept asking me, like I said, they kept asking me if I hit my head because I guess someone th thought I did. And I was like, I don't remember that part. And they're like, what do you mean you don't remember? I was like, I don't know if I hit my head or not. I didn't say it like that, but I was panicky. And I was like, I don't know if I hit my head or not. And um, so they had a rush me to the hospital. And it wasn't, even, it wasn't my local hospital, of course, because my job was 40 minutes away, but I was familiar with this hospital, and um, <clears throat> so I had to take a few days off work from my mental state, my physical state, because um, I had like a little bit of like bruising and stuff, but um, it could have been a lot way worse. My body was like aching real, but really bad, and um. But, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. And I was go I was going the speed limit. Like, I swear. Like, I don't speed. And I don't speed on highways. Like, mm-mm. It just jumped right out right in front of me. So, and I really had no time to react much. Um, so, yeah, I was scared to drive the highway before I say... For about a week. A week, that's it. But I drove back on the highway to my job again and I was seriously crying the whole way to my job because I was so scared that it was going to happen again. But <sighs> yeah, and um, Fawcett, the day after I got in an accident, I found out my sister was pregnant. So it was just so crazy. Like, how all that happened, but yeah, be careful for dearest because it's better your car get ruined than your, you know, your life. But my car didn't get really ruined because I avoided the deer by ended up hitting, you know, go around spinning and stuff. But yeah, um, that's my story time, and if well, why would you enjoy hearing about this accident? But if this ever happened to you or you ever got in a similar accident, um, press the like button, like, comment, share, subscribe. Just the lighting. Oh, excuse my lighting. My lighting's just so funny right now. I'm trying to get better lighting. But thank you anyway for still watching my content. Every time I post a video, I really appreciate it. My Really, pre uh, really appreciate all my main squeezes. He watches every single video, or at least every other video, and comment. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.